Uh, what else is new for Lathe and Milturn is custom threads. Custom threads are going to let you customize the shape, um, be able to use tools besides just threading tools. So you can use a button tool or any other kind of form tool to be able to cut the thread. So let's give this a look. We have this custom shaped thread right here. And we're just going to be using the button tool. Go into the parameters. It's going to pop up into that panel parameters, just like creating a uh, insert or anything else like that, or 3D tooling, I should say. So we have our tool. We select our tool, set our machine parameters. And we're using uh, upper right. You can be using any, any comments we want to add. We have our shape, so uh, parametric, or we can use a chain. We can set the table here for the parametric. If we wanted to select the chain over here, we could. We have our shape type. Uh, we have rope, buttress. We can do a square, uh, trapezoidal. We're going to leave it at the rope. If we come up with a custom thread, we can save it to the default. And we have our rough motion, our finished motion, our basic con motion control. So we can set our start and end here. And so let's go back up to our shape. So we can get a slight preview. So if I click on this preview, I'm going to zoom in. The red area is the shape of the thread. And the green box is going to be our start and end point. So basically the area that we're getting doing the thread. So hit escape, hit OK on that one. And give it a quick verify. Speed this up. So it's going to do the threading pattern. And as we're getting closer to the shape, you can see that it's a nice, clean toolpath, nice looking custom thread with the nice, using the button tool. So you know, other uses, maybe uh, if you want to roll the edges so you don't have to use custom uh, lay down inserts or anything else like that. Thank you very much for your time.